Sucker Punch Move Review. Browning, aka Scary Eyes, is put into a mental institution for miming her way through roughly the first 20 minutes of this film, during which she shoots a gun leading many, many people to debate whether that was what killed her younger sister or whether it was her stepfather who wants the money left to the two girls. Anyway, once in the mental institution, she then <sighs> falls into this imaginary world to escape from reality. Two imaginary worlds, in fact, leading some to compare this to Inception, which is quite insulting. The first layer is a cat house, or a whore house, and she meets a handful of other young sets of legs, and the final layer is this handful of hot chicks fighting giant samurai demons, Nazi zombies, and other awesome creatures using small arms. And following the advice of an old guy seemingly representing wisdom, spouting American fortune cookie style advice. I was definitely unprepared for this movie, but that's really not why I dislike it. Other than the action scenes, this really does not have a lot to offer. The action scenes are about what you'd expect from Snyder and from the trailers. They are pretty awesome and somewhat well choreographed, but at the same time, the more you watch them, the more you realize they're kind of monotonous and repetitive. And like with a lot of recent action films, it's like watching someone else play a video game. And that's just not fun. The big problem here, one of them, is that the different elements are not that well connected. We have these very different... If the action scenes are all essentially the same, except for the location. There is a nice mix of different periods, and the designs are pretty cool. But there are these very different situations, and they basically don't really relate to what else is going on in the film. There, It honestly feels like Zack had the ideas for these action scenes, and then he just wrote something to fit around it. The characters aren't that interesting, the dialogue is decent at best, the acting greatly varies, and there aren't really any performances that just really grab you, you know. Emily herself pouts through the entire thing, and it's really too bad. I, I'm pretty sure she can do better. The symbolism has gotten some positive attention from the people who love the film and defend it, but I don't really see that much depth to this. And even when there is depth in a film, it's still nice if it feels like a complete product rather than some different ideas stitched together awkwardly. I really don't think Zack should try his hand at more stuff that isn't adapting someone else's work. All in all, my recommendation, borrow it from a friend, fast forward through anything that isn't an action scene, you'll be better off for it. There are some stunning visuals, but they're almost all in the action scenes, which have far too much slow motion, by the way. I don't think he actually sped anything up this time, I think some of them are just naturally fast, but... Yeah, and he overbears the crap out of the soundtrack with really distracting music. A new song starting every couple of minutes, you know, complete with lyrics that very clearly relate to what's going on. 
I don't know why he thinks this is a good idea. It didn't work for Watchmen either.